swimming is a skill many of us probably take for granted, but not until tragedy strikes. Earlier this week, two people drowned in two different Allegan County lakes. One victim just didn't know how to swim. 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum joins us live now to tell us about a unique program that helps children learn how to swim, even if they can't afford it, Brady. Well, Marley, Sue, good evening. Drowning is one of the leading causes of death among children. Here at Kalamazoo College, they're looking to change that one child at a time. For competitive swimmers like Steph Rahoff, I really love the sport. Swimming is second nature. Butterfly and breaststroke. But water can be foreign and dangerous to children who can't afford swimming lessons. We live in a state surrounded by lakes. Lots of lakes in our within the state as well. Several years ago, Kalamazoo College developed its Swim for Success program. The goal? To teach children how to swim at no or little cost to them. So for levels one and two, it's kind of just teaching them how to flow, how to tread, how to do freestyle and backstroke. Steph, a Kalamazoo College student, brought her love for swimming to the K College pool, teaching kids ages 4 to 14 all about swimming. It's a chance for the coaches to get to make a connection with the kids and try to get them to love the sport that I know so many of us have loved for a long time. About 100 kids go through the program each year. I'd like to see it grow and with the building of the natatorium, we'll get a bigger pool so hopefully we'll be able to house more. Uh, kids to teach them. It's so unique, other organizations have contacted K College to learn how to create their own programs. They're all adorable in their own ways, and they all bring lots of fun energy to the program. In a class created for children, perhaps the adults are the real students. The kids teach you as much as you teach the kids, so. Now the classes run fall through spring. For more information, there's a link on our website. Reporting live in Kalamazoo, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.